For just 20 seconds, picture yourself as Samsung. You're the original creator of the foldable phone, once an inspiration for many. But now, your competitors are racing ahead. You know foldables are the future, yet your popularity is slipping. You know you need to act fast, but before you can take a step, your rivals are already 10 steps ahead, and the competition is only getting tougher. What the f***? You decide to take a hundred bold steps to leave everyone behind in the coming year. But let's get back to reality. Can Samsung pull off the innovation of this decade, or is it just another gimmick for others to mock? Samsung Display has created some amazing new products in the past. We've seen cool prototypes like rollable phones, trifold phones, and even a foldable tablet that rolls. The report says they are getting ready to launch a rollable phone that can turn into a big 12.4-inch tablet. This new rollable phone will have an under-display camera on the front to provide a full, uninterrupted display. Beyond turning a regular-sized phone to the size of a Tab S10+, Plus, the rollable smartphone can permanently resolve the crease issue. Unlike regular foldable smartphones that only have two modes, cover display or full screen, the rollable phone can let you change the size to whatever you want. But this isn't the first time someone has thought of a rollable smartphone. Besides Samsung, many companies in China and around the world have shown off their own prototypes. LG has been making rollable TVs for a while and nearly launched a rollable smartphone before shutting down its mobile division. If they can do it, why haven't companies like Oppo, Motorola, Techno, or TCL released their own rollable phones? Because things might not be as fancy as they look. One big reason for the rise of Chinese foldables and Samsung struggles is a lack of innovation. While Chinese manufacturers developed super thin folds, Samsung failed to innovate. A rollable phone is an innovation, but is it going to be slim? A rollable display needs a safe radius. Either side or the whole phone is going to be thicker than foldable phones. Do you remember pop-up cameras? They were popular for providing a full screen experience without notches or camera cutouts. But then pop-up cameras vanished, and what is common between rollable phones and pop-up cameras is the motorized mechanism. Any motorized component has longevity issues. Hinge stress causes crease issues in foldable. And in rollable smartphones, more than half of the screen would be stressed from rolling and unrolling. Plus, making rollable smartphones water-resistant is tough, and they can be more vulnerable to dust and dirt than foldable. Tiny particles can easily get inside and can cause the motorized hinge to fail. According to reports, Samsung plans to release its rollable smartphone in 2025. However, how Samsung will overcome these hurdles remains unknown. Subscribe so you won't miss future updates. This is TechTix signing off for now.